name's Alison Willis. Uh, I'm a composer from the UK and I'm inviting you to find out a little more about my current co-commissioning project for choirs called The Canticle of Mary. So here we are in July 2020 in the middle of a global pandemic. Um, I'm painfully aware this is a ridiculous time to ask choirs to be commissioning a new piece. However, in my professional life as a composer and a conductor and a singer, um, I'm also aware that we are, as choirs, desperate to keep singing and we are keen to continue to make new music and I think that's really important in the current situation. For the Canticle of Mary, I'm inviting six choirs to each commission a new carol. The carols will be based on a little known early medieval text. Very excitingly, I'm working with Charles Anthony Silvestri, a uh, writer of lyrics for some of the best choral composers in the world. He is writing a poem called The Canticle of Mary, which tells Mary's story, but in her own voice. The bigger picture with this piece, how the whole piece comes together, is that these six choirs are linked by the poem written by Tony Silvestri. Uh, each carol will have the preceding stanza of Tony's poem set for soprano solo, with piano organ accompaniment and also choir accompaniment. The carols will be written for SATB choir with little or no divisi, uh, with piano or organ accompaniment playable on both instruments. They are categorically not being written as virtual pieces. However, as I say, as a singer and a conductor, as well as a composer, I have spent a great deal of time on software trying to piece together recordings over the past few months. Um, there are things that make that achievable and enjoyable and there are things that aren't. Um, my intention is to write these pieces so they are for live performance uh, in an ideal world, either this Christmas or the following Christmas and in perpetuity, um, but also so that if we do need to rehearse virtually, if we do need to record virtually, they are enjoyable and practical to rehearse and perform in that way. You might be wondering why I'm doing this as a co-commission. Um, there's, there's two reasons really. One is that our choral community needs to stick together and work together in this, this strange and bewildering time. The other is that if each choir commissions a carol, hopefully it makes a larger work possible but without being financially unreachable by individual choirs. With that in mind, the shortest carol at two and a half minutes would be £500 plus purchase of the scores. The longest carol at around five minutes would be £1,000 plus purchase of the scores. The scores will be professionally printed by Composers Edition and would be with you by the end of August, ready for rehearsal in the autumn. Commissioning choirs get to perform their carol Christmas 2020, whether that's in person, socially distanced or virtually, who knows. The bigger picture is that these six medieval carols and the contemporary poem by Tony combine into one about 45 minute piece that tells the Christmas story through Mary's eyes. The commissioning choirs would have access to the whole piece with a 20% discount once all the individual carols have been performed in the hope that maybe the whole work can be performed in December 2021. So there we have it, The Canticle of Mary. I'm so excited to write this piece and I really hope I've piqued your interest. If I have, you might like to visit my website, www.alisonwillis.com, uh, and there you'll find a link to the Canticle of Mary, including the medieval texts. If you're not already familiar with my music, you might like to listen to a couple of other medieval carols I've written. Uh, I would recommend Those Things Three and I Sing of a Maiden, uh, and they are both available on my YouTube channel, and there are links to them at the end of this video. If you have any questions or you'd like a chat or you're interested in commissioning one of the carols, please do get in touch. My email address is ali, A-L-I, at alisonwillis.com or you can contact me through my website. If you like the sound of the Canticle of Mary but it's not quite right for you at this time, uh, maybe you know someone who would be interested. I'd be really grateful if you could point them in this direction. Finally, thanks for watching this. Uh, maybe we'll chat or meet in person or on Zoom at some point soon. In the meantime, stay safe and bye for now.